for Amoke's uh, house, we will do the same though our four feet extension will cover the lavatories. know most of you guys especially in Nairobi those who are working or self-employed uh, almost everyone dreams to own a home and this home is not any uh, conventional home but uh, it is a unique one and it is a container home that is why today I am here with my good friend can you introduce yourself to us hi I'm okay <laughs> okay my name is Bella Themba I'm the director for sales and publicity at Containers Kenya. And I'm here with Amoke Vlogs, ready to take him through the journey of owning a beautiful home. Karebo. So guys, before we proceed further, there are questions that you need to ask yourself before purchasing a container home. Uh, some of these questions are, for example, can you afford it? Bella will have to tell us all that. Which con containers are you going to use? Uh, Self-building or are you hiring a contractor? Uh, do, do you have time? Do you have time to supervise your work uh, uh, that's going around the container that you have decided to purchase? Uh, how do you want your home to look like? Uh, where do you want uh, to build? Uh, do you have a builder? Uh, are you ready to take uh, the pledge? So those are uh, some of the many, many questions that you need to ask yourself before you start this journey that uh, Bella and the team from Container Kenya will take with me. Bella, tell us more about this place. Okay, this is Containers Kenya. Yeah. We've been in business for more than 10 years. Yeah. We, started, we started by just selling the containers as they are. Yeah. And then now on our, that was three years down the line. Yeah. And then now, now after the three years, I'm counting now the seventh year, yeah. We are now counting the seventh year when we have been doing the container modification yeah. and just selling also the plain containers. We also hire them if you want, but we hire the mostly plain containers, yeah. not fabricated containers. For fabricated containers, yeah. we usually fabricate them to own, yeah. in the sense that you buy and then you go and own it. We don't hire the fabricated containers. Okay, and when it comes to now buying the container, yeah. ideally, uh, as you've, you've seen in yeah. at this yard, we have yeah. the stock. Yeah. Yeah, you need to, when, when, in, when you're purchasing the container, you, you usually need to go to the physical location where the mm -hmm. containers are. You see the condition of the container. Mm -hmm. You see if they're well documented. Yeah. You see the state in which, mostly the state in which they are in and mm. the documentation. Between uh, selling the plain containers and the fabricated one, mm -hmm. which one do you, do you see people buy most? Uh, with, with the time we've yeah. seen people taking the fabricated containers yeah. and mostly the business stores. Yeah, yeah mostly oh. the business stores which have really picked up and mm. offices. How long does the project take from start to finish? Okay, for your case you're taking a 24 feet container. Yeah. That 24 feet container, ideally for a 20 foot it takes at the maximum period is 15 to 21 days. Mm. 15 being the the 15 being the last day in the sense that the remaining period for 21 you can just come, maybe there are a few, few things which are need to be mm. changed and all that, but ideally it takes 15 days. How uh, do you transfer ownership of the container? You understand the containers do have a, a document called the container intercharge, mm. which we refer to it as the container logbook. That container logbook comes with our name, with the containers Kenya's mm. name. So in the case whereby for the containers we don't transfer ownership like the cars, like we change the logbook to your name. But what shows that you're the rightful owner will draft for you a retail sale agreement to show that Amoke is the rightful owner or so and so is the rightful owner for the container. Uh, what does uh, the container home come with? Let's say like uh, the one I'm purchasing. 
what should I expect to find in that container? Just like a normal house, mm. you're going to find windows, you're going to find doors, you'll find the floor tile. You, you can either do tiles or laminates. It's ideally with laminates goes well in cold places like Nanyuki, Limuru, you see those places are pretty pretty cold mm. in the sense that if you do the tiles you even make the place unbearable for someone to live in. Mm. So for such places we usually do laminates but in Nairobi the temperatures are fair mm. so we'll, it will come with the tiles, it will come with the toilet fitted, mm. kitchen, a small kitchenette mm. and the bedroom, for the bedroom space we will put a small cabinet for you but hanging one mm. and then just like a normal house when you mm. enter you get a toilet shower bathroom mm. electricity mm. and all that mm. yeah it's, uh, the only difference is this is a, a box mm. something like a container so that's the only difference but it's just like a normal house and then you should also understand <coughs> that the container is very hot mm. so therefore when you're fabricating this container we insulate mm. we use a material called styrofoam to to insulate the container and then we pad with the material called gypsum. Mm. These two materials are a good are good heat and cold regulators. Mm. Does the client has power to choose what materials goes into the house? Yes, the, ideally it's client based. Mm. We are just here to implement in the sense that you get to choose the the color of tiles. You get to choose the colors that are to be painted outside. You get to choose the design of the door. And the window, yes, you get. Ideally, it's client-based. You, you get to choose almost everything. Us is just to implement. What about uh, transportation to to the client site? That's a good question, mm -hmm. and uh, there's some few things I need to clarify. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're making a container home, mm -hmm. first of all, before you transport the container to your site, mm -hmm. the site has to be ready. By being ready, I mean it, the, the, the ground where the, we're placing the container should be leveled. Another thing is after you've leveled the ground, you can either do a flat base for, for the slab or you can use, like in your case, for the 24 feet container, we'll use pillars, four pillars. So after all that is ready and you've, you've, you've assured us it's ready, that's when now we deliver the container. Yeah, to the site and once we do the transportation once we load it from here at our site it's our responsibility to make sure the container arrives your site in good shape in the sense that if anything if at all anything happens in between the yard containers Kenya to your site and mm. fully liable but those you see there are those cases whereby the site the container arrives the site and there's a challenge in, in your site, you find it has rained, it's muddy, mm. you want to drop the container but the ground is sinking. You understand? In such cases, we usually advise on what to do. Yeah, but we usually make sure that the, once the container leaves here, it mm. arrives at the client site mm. safely. And in case of any breakages or any damages, mm. there's that grace period which we are allowed to go and, rip and do the, the, the repairs and all that. Being sincere or 100% sincere, mm -hmm. is it cost effective compared to brick and mortar? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> I believe uh, this is the first question you asked me uh, when you came here yeah. to, to inquire about the container home. Yeah. So, and you've done the research yeah. and you've seen, you've done the market research and you've seen what or the, the cost of items, the way things are skyrocketing and all that. Building a container home is quite effective and it's quite, it's, it's, it, it also has its advantages. You see, you, uh, when you're building a house, you can take a year or even two before you finish that house. But you see with a container home, we are speaking of 15 days, 21 days. Those are like two to three weeks. And you have, your, your, you, you have a complete house to live in. That's one advantage. Another thing, we take, we take all the risks from you. For you, is just to tell us this is what I want mm. and for us to implement it. Mm. So you see, we, we take all that burden from you and you take it upon ourselves to make sure you have a home. So we take the stress from the fundies from you. So guys, if you have further questions regarding how to own uh, a container home, leave a comment uh, at the comment section and also i will leave uh, links to container kenya 
so that uh, you can again uh, ask further questions and also you can be a new home owner just like I am starting the process. Remember, owning a container home is not cheap, <laughs> but, but uh, the advantages outweighs the cost. If it was cheap, everybody would be having now a container home, but the advantages are, are outweighs the disadvantages. So guys, always remember to leave a like, leave a comment, share, and subscribe to Moke Vlogs. See you in the next episode of Owning a Container Home. Bella. Yes. Where do we proceed now? Should I go and select my container? Yes. <laughs> <laughs>